They turned out in the hundreds, <laughs> trooping through Kenya's capital, Nairobi, <laughs> pitching camp at the SRC offices and subsequently at the Council of Governors' offices to present their petition as the Kenya Union of Clinical Officers strike enters its second week. <laughs> In their petition, the clinicians are demanding the national and county governments absorb UHC staff hired during the COVID-19 period, the national TB program clinicians and all its members currently on contractual terms to permanent and pensionable terms, payment of an enhanced risk allowance of 15,000 shillings as agreed in January 1st, 2021 and employment of over 20,000 unemployed and qualified clinical officers to cover the existing staff shortage. Members of the press. While leading the demonstration, Union Secretary General George Gibore accused the Council of Governors of punitive terms of service to clinicians under contractual terms demanding a 6.5 billion shillings allocation to stabilize its members. My governor, Ba hivyo tunasema kwamba tunaenda kuongelesha kwa sababu wakisema wanaratibisha mishara walikuwepo wa, wa, walikuwa wapi wakati ambapo UHC waliemployiwa kama maafisa tabibu wanauliza tu bilioni moja kwa miaka ine mizima bilioni moja peke yake bilioni moja peke yake amba itahakikisha kwamba we have a stable, a stable health sector ya nyitaendelea kuprovide services kwa over 55 million people na hiyo ndiyo tu tunayo uliza. Na wale ambaye ni UHC staff, tumeisha wafanya maesabu, wanahitaji bilioni tano nukutatano peke yake kuweko katika kandarazi za kudumu. Further, the union is rejecting recent salary and remuneration commission's review on payable salaries to interns, highlighting any further renewal of UHC's clinicians' contracts as contravention of the law. This is what I want to ask. Madam Lynn Mengich and her commission, just give them their rights. Let them be paid the same salary that is paid to the other on permanent and pensionable. We have laws in this country and the Public Service Commission Act provides that you can only renew a contract once. The UHC contract was renewed by one year, yes. by Public Service Commission. Yes. Any further renewal is contravention of the law, yes. is and contravention law. of the rights and freedoms <laughs> of the U.S. And as the strike progresses on to its second week, the National Biomedical Engineers of Kenya have also joined their clinician counterparts today, following a seven-day strike notice lapse demanding full implementation of the signed 2022 collective bargaining agreement. The signed CBA in 2022 to be implemented fully. Two, recognition and fair treatment of biomedical engineers of Kenya and other healthcare workers. Three, improved working conditions. Four, internship posting to biomedical engineers. As a union, therefore, we are happy to announce to join our colleagues who have been on strike following the lapse of a seven-day notice. Bentura Kombuka, K24, Nairobi.